I mean, I could try poison dart towers. I could try like rate dart towers. No, sorry, Mar Marzipone. I didn't mean the bonus shards like from consecutive wins. I meant like your, like on your first win, you get the current chaos and a lower chaos. That's what I was talking about. The lower chaos. On my DPS squire, I have two DPS squires. Uh, both are wallers as well. This one's focused into ability power and sword beam. The other one is hero damage. Both of them have, you know, move speed, crit damage, crit chance, stuff like that. Uh, extra mana. I mean, I might just, I might just try the crit dart towers. It's not so scummy when I'm doing a new patch. Or not crit dart, but like kind of crit dart. Like if they added the crit shit back in, shouldn't it be like... Take that off. Move that out of the way, and then we go... Ramster Builder, let's grab that. And take off Lightning Strike Aura. So you... Defense Rate, Crit Damage, and... Poison rate? I can't remember. I think it was Ral who was saying it. And I think that's what he said to me. It might have been in Discord. Yeah, but he did it on an orb. No, he said don't tell. I'm gonna tell. I'm sorry, dude. I'm gonna tell. Does one know how good gear gets in C4? Um, yeah. Alright, later Marzipan. Oh, Marzipan. Marzipan. That should still be relevant there, that stat list. So what he was doing... was basically this. Yeah, so that, that, and that. 0.19 tick rate. Attack rate, crit. Eh. Oh god, I really don't want to do it. I really don't want to do it. I don't even want to think about it. Let's go, like, crit poison, not... Crit dart. There we go. Mary poison. I don't know if I could live with myself if I did the other. Let's bring back the sky guards. My Needs a rage shard, sky guards. All right, so if I'm gonna do poison dart towers, you're about at the limit, it seems. So you're gearing up to head on to the next uh, tier, the um, C5 tier, where you have the limit of C3 going in. This and this. I mean, what were people doing before this patch? They were doing like raid enhanced poison and destruction or something, right? God, dude, cannonballs are so fucking good right now. Holy shit! Like, I'm trying all these builds, and I'm just sitting to mess, sitting here thinking, man, if only I had like a cannonball per lane. Start doing C5, yo. Good luck.
Like just one more cannonball per lane. Did they get nerfed? Were assassins touched, dude? They've got more health. That's all I know. Um, I they don't feel like they got nerfed at all. My monk was getting obliterated when he didn't used to get obliterated, but maybe it's because I always use like cannonball builds with him. Yo, it's definitely not less health. You think they did, but I'm pretty sure they said like. Originally, they didn't know if this patch was going to get the um, changes to them. And I think that's what happened. This patch didn't have the changes to them. They definitely have more health, though. Like, before they were like 2.7 mil. Now they're under the 3 mil range. I'll check again to be sure, though. Also... I need to figure out... I still need to figure out what kind of AoE I'm going to do. Am I brave enough to try Flame... or Flame Auras? I don't know. Kind of not. They said they would not raise. I mean, it didn't. It didn't get raised that much. The boss health. I don't think. A little bit. Like it went to like eight mil or something. What was it before? I've seen like eight mils and eleven mils with the um, lane HP buff. Yo, MP, what's going on? How have I been? I've been all right. Uh, doing okay. Now this shit's crazy. Uh, also, wyverns, beetles, and wyverns? Okay, I don't need tier 2 yet on these. At least a roller. I guess maybe that's it, because there was like an 8 mil or something roller. And an 11 mil, maybe rounded up to 12 mil skelly or something I looked at. So yeah, I guess a little stronger. Also, I still need to figure out what kind of build I'm doing. I was like, alright, let's try PDTs, but what else? No, they, I, wait, you don't think the bot... The bosses definitely got changed a little bit. I think. Because now that I think of it, this map doesn't have lane passes, but... The boss is pretty high. Just a complete raffle stomp right now. Maybe I should have done that. Fisher's in some sort of single target. Instead, I decided to go poison dart poops. I could try to do like. I could try to do ballistas. EDTs and ballistas or something. These random ass combinations. Um, Fisher's can of Skyers? Nah, it's not different enough. Yeah, that's true. Sand Viper's supposed to be buffed up. Mm. My only problem with that is that I've currently used, like, my builds is kind of like, hey, AoE with single target with utility. I've already got my AoE. I mean, I've got my AoE and single target with Poison Dart Tower, assuming it works alright. It works at least the same as before. I haven't done Flame Wars yet. No. Not yet. They're too easy. Oh god. I mean, I, I guess I can get just as much range as you now, so what am I worried about? Crits for a million. Without any shards into them. Yeah, 
It's working now, yeah, so there there you go, it's heavy. But like Yeah, it's, I think it's like a threshold. Maybe if you go like below their base uh stats or something. I I don't know. I don't know, like rate, crit damage. That like doubled it. Um what else? Actually, what are these firing at right now? 1.78. Real quick. Just real quick. Humor me. What are you doing? 1.25. Wait, if I put crit damage on that, how do you do? <laughs> I didn't want to take it off the other one. Even though I probably should, there's no reason not to. Now I'm being stubborn. I'm never selling a crit damage shard again. There we go. So it's still less. Oh my god, Squishy. Dude, dude, that's the most triggering thing ever. Fishers have always been what Flame Auras have wanted to be. Holy tits, dude. You triggered me with that, and I'm not even a Flame Aura user. Uh, also, I hate the word triggered, but in this case it's kind of relevant. 335? Oh... Now, maybe this isn't a good one for crit, but... Wait, so that went from 345 to 342 with the switch? Yeah, okay. Fuck it, yeah. Get them firing faster. Absolutely. Um... And honestly, like, why don't I just put a range on it? Well, actually, wait, power transfer makes more sense for damage. Blah. Okay, those. Um... Did you really just say Raffle Stomp? I expected so much more from you, dude. <laughs> Why not? Uh, slightly further back. Man, those... <laughs> those things are thick. Their attack damage is 105k. That's not horrible. They crit for somewhere in the million. They're firing 1.25 per second. That's pretty fucking fast. Oh god, did you really evoke her? Oh, dude, that sucks. So, I'm actually gonna have just enough for a sand trap, and I hate to, like, repeat sand traps every map, but... At the same time, I don't, because I want some sort of slow in this build. A friend who wore wolf t-shirts, black jeans, and a skull belt buckle. Got you saying it. <laughs> that image. The image you painted. 
One mil base, one mil max. Good. Finally, something that isn't the most stupid thing in the world. Let's go sand trap per lane, and then I don't know another harpoon per lane. You're doing more damage without power transfer. I mean, that would depend on the setup. And your ascension level. Up until I think a certain ascension level if crit isn't your primary. And it's either equal to or... And defense power is either equal to or greater than crit damage on your relic. It's probably better for power transfer. Though I don't know if... Does your power transfer shard affect your ascension stuff? Well, it won't show beyond 1 mil until it hits 2 mil, Squishy. Yeah. So, like, a lot of things are, like, doubling in crit damage with the upgrade. Nimbus isn't. Yeah, dude, Mad Dragon with a Merc, go crit damage for sure. Absolutely. Not even a question, dude. Uh, where did I miss? North? Middle. Uh, sand Trap, sure. Fuck it. Let's move it out slightly this time. Tower crit damage needs a nerf, what the fuck. Dude, I'm with you. I'm really not okay, like not sure about this build, like relying on... Well, I mean it's PDT, isn't it like a harpoon? Oh god, whatever, let's just try it. It's hitting them for 1.3 mil, like, on the crits. It's probably the worst lane for one of those. Jeez. That's... Mad Dragon, that is exactly what I'm saying, dude. 34% of a primary crit gives you more than 60% of a secondary defense power. But if they were equal, 60% crit damage extra versus 34% crit damage each extra. If defense power is the primary, you get more crit damage from that. You know what? Just get off me. Yeah, I mean, it's just... It's all just based on whatever is stat, right? It's, it's all it's all math, man. Everything's math. Those back lane freaking jab tossers, though. All right, I mean, it was wave one, but that went okay. Um, I got three hundred left in five lanes. I mean, I think I just do a harpoon, a backwards harpoon, in every lane. Oh, that sucks for your win streak. Yo, man, my win streak's trash right now. I lose half of my maps. Yeah, I mean, power chance will work as long as there's defense power to convert to a crit. Is it better, though? Probably not right now. Is it worth it on that? Maybe not. Does it work? Yeah. Almost certainly. Maybe I'm better off doing, like, something that's more in line with the lanes. Just as they're leaving? Hmm. Oh god, you just super buffed it, dude. Ral, I almost I almost did the thing you posted me and I was like, you know what? Let's just stick with Mark for now. For the PDTs. Um, alright, so first off, Skyguards, they get a buff. Because I'm scared without that extra rate chart. Like the way you worded it made me really afraid to even look at it. And yeah, I've got 60 per lane. Yeah, man, I saw it. <laughs> it's, it's a lot. Like, these walls didn't take any damage. 
41 and 14. Honestly, considering like how OP PDTs I assume are are and gonna be, it's not bad. 20 UD, 20 DU difference though. Uh, how do I want to do this then? Um, not sure. I want to do another harpoon per lane, but there's not really any great places for them. But if I did that idea of just having the further forward one. Like, maybe, like, spread across the lanes. It doesn't really benefit from the pierce shit, though. I could get rid of power transfer and do something funky with it, though. Maybe, like, a... Maybe I should go range shard instead of, um, the extra damage. I don't know. And instead of power transfer, I get rid of, um, crit damage. I guess, in that case. Err, 60 per lane. Right. Please send help. I'm not sure what to do. I should go Earth Shatter PDT. Five mil crits with cannonballs. Oh god, dude. Oh god, that was my question earlier. Stop. I can only get so erect. I'm guessing that's Mark. Cannonballs. Uh, no. Um, you shouldn't be able to. I'm pretty sure... I read a post, whatever, where Isom confirmed that it was just for wins until you, like, left the map. In this current setup, like, for now. They, that might change later. It might not. It might change later, though. But for now, that's what's up, as far as I'm aware. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Cannonballs. I don't know. I just love cannonballs, man. With speed and DP. And then what? You're using heavy cannonball, probably crit damage or rate, then? Uh, do you think that's your grossest comment ever? No, I think uh, Ruffle Stump might have been your grossest comment ever. That he might have jokingly talked about using PDTs or something. Did I put the crown on like every single one of my squires? I must have. Okay, so I'm going to leave this lane for now. What are you doing? That's okay. Poison damage is so low, the crit damage is 103. I don't know if that's worth it. Nerd with 17 charisma. Doesn't make it any less gross. Crowntastic? Crowntacular? Fuck it, I'm just gonna do them all once. Also, I hate the static from this weapon. It's not even like a storm damage, it just has the base like electric on it. Like, not actual damage, just... Is this aftershock? It's so annoying to hear. I don't know. Brig. Face palm. Jeez. It's fine. Don't even worry about it. All right. Real quick. Okay. Oh god, my poor Twitter. Um, I think we're good to go. Let's switch to this. So I can help the lane. Second wave. We'll see how it goes. First wave is always the easy one, but now we've got filled out DU as well.
1.4 mil on something. What's hitting for 1.4 mil? Is it you? It's gotta be you. No. Maybe. Yeah. Oh god, so many coming in. 2.8. Um, okay. If Assassin's got a buff, it wasn't by much. Uh, the HP buff. I think they did, but not a lot. Oh god, Griblock is going down pretty fast. Hit the wall. Barely. Oh, I helped! Nice. 22... 11. That's fair, I was just put in. Uh, I don't know. Walls and poison darts or something? I, I don't know if it's even worth it to upgrade them in this current state. I'm going, like, more crit than defense power. Maybe there's still, like, face roll defense power, too? Uh, this lane has not been upgraded yet. Let's do those. Yo, Smiley, what's going on? Roller, so I'll have to deal with that. And then what's down below? Some sort of skelly. Okay, let's just do the boss lane. Let me run up here real quick though, see if it's safe. Yeah, monsters leveled up. Yeah. By a little bit, apparently. A little bit. This lane rocked it. 26 kills on that. It's already caught up and surpassed the existing one. Um, so HP and damage up. Yeah, like... The assassins did feel like they were hitting harder. Also, I should check the monk. What's on your chest? You are wearing bulwark. You're just weak as fuck because of my uh, lack of desire to put health in you. I should fix that. What has crit? Like... Two pieces? Mmm, 45-60. Helmet. Armor. Hats. Okay, you're already upgraded, so... I think that's gonna make a big difference to using it. Uh, Rubo. For the most part, it's just better for Mark for everything. Drops better now, too. You think so? It's not that easy being cheesy. It sounds pretty easy to you, dude. Let's do some monk DPS now with the extra health. But yeah, for cannonball towers, um... Honestly, like from what Ralph here is telling me, it seems like Mark's the best bet. Uh, or Cannibal Towers, though, like I was using them earlier, and they seem pretty strong, too. Swims in cheese. Covers yourself in, ch yourself in cheese. Slather on the trees. A lot of legendaries today? Maybe. I don't know if enemy level has anything to do with it. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. I used to think that, like, the higher your gear, the higher the enemies. The higher the enemies, the better the drops. Maybe that is the case. I don't know if these are doing like enough of anything now. I think they had it so that like shard DPS like crit scalings all had their own. Like they all had their own crit scaling now. I think I had one poof there. Oh god. You know what? Like before this patch, I thought Mark on Boost Aura was actually the way to go with them. Just because of how Ascension works. It's gonna be so dumb now. Holy shit, dude. It's gonna be so dumb. Oh, I have those fuckers. That's right. This might. This build might actually fail because of those guys. Because of the Vanguard. Yeah, so... My... 
thoughts were forced to be true on Balforus. The using them for crit buffing, buffing crit things. Even before this crit scaling got exacerbated. Twenty mil crits on lightning strike aura. That's the most overkill thing I've heard in a day full of overkill. No, I just um I almost two shot it. I don't do quite two shots, it was three. But I only had like less than a mil left after two of them. It was Lich and Key it's Lich with a Key Blast Monk, dude. Alright, oh, weren't you a pulse smash monk, Squishy? Come on, dude. Get with the program. Doing like 2 mil per key blast plus a uh, Dragolich to make it 4 mil. I think it's less than t a little less than 2 mil without the crits though. Especially now that I dropped some crit damage. Also, so much for this being my boost aura. Uh, that's the thing actually, this is my boost aura monk. <laughs> I don't have the crit damage anymore. Uh, I want to slap past me. I mean, I guess I didn't know, but like... Past me was like, yo, I mean... I know crit's alright on them, but I probably won't care. I care. I very, very much care. You haven't played your monk in two weeks? Yo, bring it back, dude. What should you put on your PDTs? Uh, defense rate. Poison rate. Maybe crit. Something like that. What should you put on every defense? A mark with crit damage and defense rate. Oh, okay, you're just gonna die. Yeah, 1.9 mil now. I think that's... Well, it was over 2 mil before I took that crit piece off. I can't tell which one's the crits for these things. It's too many numbers. Oh god, there's so many coming in. So, the vanguards scare me, but they should, like, get stunned by the sharpened spike walls. Get out of here. Really? Even in the mid lane, dude? You do, you do my kind of walling. Not exactly my walls, but you do, like, tight walling in the middle, too. Even there? Yeah, the fire shards are ridiculous, dude. It's a lot of fun. Um, Gribby. What did I call the stream in the end? Did I put it back to the Civic Chaos 9 playing the patch? Damn it, I should I was gonna call it critical building. I'm gonna call a feature uh stream critical building. I should have. I really should have. 43, 167, PDTs, or PDTs, or PDTs. Um, Ogre on the top. Those walls didn't take any damage, or I repair them. Doing those back ones, um... Partly because of boss lanes, probably because of vanguards. I don't know. I didn't check the vanguard lanes. What did you miss? Uh, no. Yo, sucks to hear about the funeral. And I missed you. I don't remember, like, you've been gone for a while. I 
It goes right into your inventory? Really? So I should still see it when I do like my recent look at. That's interesting though. Been a week or so, yeah. Um, big patch today, dude. Really go check the patch notes released, but Trendy decided to make crit scaling like off stats be five times more effective per point than defense power scaling. So everything is crits. It's a crit life. It, like a ridiculously crit life. Goes in primary bag, yeah. But we're going like whatever your first one is, right? Yeah. Hi, are you good? Ow! I'll take it. I'll take fucking health. I'm not convinced I need defense power on anything. Will this still work? Yeah. Absolutely, dude. Flamethrowers are also really strong in crit. It seems like everything has that 5 to 1 scaling now. Uh, rollers in the south lane. I think I'm done with assassins. Alright, let's go two shot this thing. It'll it'll be three unless it takes more damage. Oh, yeah, not quite. I would have been able to do that without the health on my helmet. I don't really care where that shard goes, because I'm going to be opening it right away. Also, I don't think I'm at a 3 win yet. <laughs> Crit Defenders 2. Yeah, basically. Ah, oh, shit. There we go, finally. A Chaos 3, not a Chaos 2. Cataclysm. Don't want either of those. Ruin Defenders 3. It's, um, it's something. Yeah, they, uh, really reduced the ambit from them. But, like, they're still alright. The thing is, like, they only get 200 past their base, and I don't think I would gambit that. Like, I don't think 200 it is worth it. Even if you're not doing defense power. Well, yeah, I mean, like, I'd rather just put those 50 points into crit damage at this point. But, you know. I didn't get a free respec, so I'm not going to do anything about it. You can't select the map you want to run. Cannot. They did nothing about the maps. Consecutive wins three? So my next one. If I win this next one. 